Life is a C between B and D, where B is birth and D is death. And the C are the choices that you make every day, multiple times a day, making choices, making decisions. But when you then dwell on your decisions or it takes you forever to make a decision or you regret a decision, how can you stop that? How can you make a decision and move forward? How can you stop the, should I have done that? Could I have done that? Shoulda, woulda, coulda, all of that. In this video, I will tell you how we can avoid and move forward. How can we avoid feeling guilty and, and dwelling or feeling hurt and angry and just move forward? Because we spend too much time dwelling in the past, worrying about the future, and I want you to stop that right now. It's super easy and I want to tell you something that you will never forget and you can practice it from now on. I know what I'm talking about because I used to be that person like, oh, what if I had done that? And, and maybe I should do that. And should I go that route or that route? You know, and I, and I don't know. And it took me forever to make a decision. No more of that. It's time to make a decision and move forward. By the way, if you want to escape your job, create the life and the future that you really want, like I have, I've quit my corporate and I'm living in these beautiful locations and this is not a backdrop, this is real. And I made the decision and I keep moving forward, I keep taking steps and I'm loving my life. And that's why I help people that are ambitious, that want to leave their job, create an online coaching business or other business and grow online and be able to live this freedom lifestyle. So if that's you, it's very, very simple. Just subscribe right below so you don't miss any of my weekly videos on Wednesday. And second of all, super easy, go below in the description, in the comments, and you will find a link to book a call with me and we can discuss your plan, okay? I'm happy to help you and I'm happy to talk as well. So, moving forward. Okay, how do you do that? Because yeah, but you know, I can choose between A and B and I don't really know what to do, right? I've been there so, so, so many times. And then if you make a decision, then you keep doubting yourself. Should I have taken that course or that course? Maybe I would have been better choosing that person over that person. It does not matter what decision, what choices you've made or you're about to make. But the fact is this. We live on average... 50% of us on average are living either in the past or in the future. What do I mean? Why are we stressing out? Why do we worry? Why do we dwell? Because either we go back and think about the past and things we could have, should have, you know, have done. So it's worrying about the past, sitting in the past, or we worry about the future, right? Maybe I should do that. Maybe that. What will happen if I do that? What will happen if I do that? Who knows? The fact is that 50% of the time, and this has been researched, we are either in the past or in the future. Worrying about the future or, is, or dwelling about the past. But we're not in the present moment. So 50% of the time, on average, maybe more, maybe less, but 50% of the time, you're not in the present moment, which means that you're not paying attention to your current situation, you're not looking at what you currently have going for you, you're not present in your relationships, you're not completely present in your conversations, you're not completely present within yourself. What a waste of time that 50% of the time we're in the past or in the future. Do you, do you realize that? It's half of your life that you're not present with, with the person you are, with your kids, with, with your job, with your career, you're not present. Let's please stop that. And I'm going to give you a super simple example that just happened to me yesterday. It was raining a lot and I'm right now I'm in a beautiful location, beautiful sun, but yeah, sometimes it rains and then it rains hard, right? And so this is a super simple example, just so you understand. Now, what happened was that there's this flake of water in the street and I was on my bike wearing dry clothes and I just continue on my bike and this flake of water next to me and this car passes by and just smashes all of that water on of me. You know, I was like completely, the side of me was completely wet. For one split second, I thought, ah, oh, 
but that split second just really disappeared and vanished right away because I thought, okay, you know, should I just sit here and be frustrated or when somebody cuts you off in traffic or just picks your parking spot, do you like, are, are you like the person who's like frustrated and angry and it's like, oh, and you shouldn't have done that and da 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 it does not matter. Come back to the present. So there I was on my bike, the car is gone, and I'm like, okay, well, now half of me is wet, so what? I continue. It makes no sense to stay in that frustration, to keep thinking about, wow, wow, that car just did that to me. So what? It happened. Move forward. Your life is moving forward. Now, you know, another example is just when you go to therapy, and I, I studied psychology, I, I absolutely admire psychology, it's nothing against it, but it's always about going back in your childhood and back in your childhood. And yes, it's important, okay, don't get me wrong. But it's also about, I'm like, move forward. When I work with my clients, it's like, take action, take steps, like move forward. You want to change your life, you want to create the future you want, you want to have the career you want, move forward. Don't sit in the past. You want to make a decision. Well, is it A? Is it B? Nobody knows. If you choose A and not B, well, maybe you could have chosen B and maybe you could have been in a car accident on that road and, you know, be dead by now. Or, you know, you, cho you choose A and maybe you don't like it that much and then you make another decision. Just a few years ago, I moved into a new country because I've been living in many different countries. Now all I do is travel and stay several months in, in different countries. And so I moved to Germany, that, that was. And I, I had a job there and I thought that was it. Like, yeah, you know, this is the country, the job, everything. Three months in that country, you know, by the time you get your insurance is good, your taxes, your paperwork, your registration, by the time all of that was done, I felt so unhappy. And I thought, okay, what do I do? Do I stay in this unhappy feeling and unfulfilled? I mean, am I crazy for wanting to move again after three months? And I thought, you know what? Yeah, maybe I made a bad decision. Maybe I shouldn't have moved to, to Germany. But here I am right now. I'm in Germany. I'm not feeling well. So, okay, I make another decision and I move again. Okay? It's, it's, yes. I mean, did I think at that time, my gosh, you know, all the paperwork, all the registration, everything that goes with that, it's a lot of work. So what? If I don't feel happy, I change. If you make a decision and you're not happy with your decision, you make another decision and another and another and you move forward. All right? I'm going to stop, but I want you to move forward always. You cannot turn the clock back in time. It's something that my grandmother used to tell me, and I just, I, I repeat that over and over, literally. I mean, those words are golden to me. You cannot turn back the clock, literally and figuratively. You cannot go back in time. So move forward, make another decision, make a new decision, move forward forward. Okay, so remember, subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of videos to help you escape your job, create the future that you want, and just be happy and fulfilled. Finally, even if you're 40 and 40 plus, just like me, it's not too late. You're never too old. Also, the link right below to book a call with me. I'm happy to help you create that plan so you can take steps and move forward. Got it? See you next week.